What's up everybody, Jeremy IPTTM here, and I have a card show recap. Um, San Antonio had um, their quarterly two-day show uh, this weekend. Uh, it was a jam-packed weekend, to say the least. I uh, woke up Saturday morning, got over to the show. I was able to spend about an hour and a half there. Then I had to hightail it home um, to get ready for my niece's birthday party. And then uh, we had pool play, or Jathan had pool play in uh, their last tournament of the summer, spring, summer season. And... Um, did well in that Sunday we ended up playing three games on Sunday two on Saturday and took second in uh, the tournament total of five games in under 24 hours and it was hot so let's just get started here um, I didn't have a lot of time so I went and saw dealers that I have dealt with before and are usually really good to me and uh, a lot of this is just what I thought was priced too low to leave at those prices. And this is one of them, a Michael Toglia, First Bowman Chrome Gold. Um, and that's a book in number one of 50. A Jameson Tyon, a First Bowman Refractor, Christian Javier, a Blue Refractor, First Bowman. These were two bucks a piece. And these are the green refractors, number to 99, Bellinger and Betts, found in uh, Older Heritage uh, Mantle, Brady McConnell, first Bowman Blue Refractor. The Otani was also $2. A, a Jeter, a, I think these are the Red Hot Foil. I found two of those. One of them looks good enough to grade. I'll see that, show that later. Um, these were all in a dollar box, so I just went and got all the first Bowmans out of there. Jared Kelly is from Refurio, Texas, where Nolan, Bryan, Nolan Ryan was born, and he's a big, strong, right-handed kid. So there's all those. Uh, Wellington Castillo, blue refractor rookie. Charlie Morton, refractor rookie. A Frank Thomas Stadium Club Triumphant. A George Springer First Bowman Refractor. This was five bucks. It's got some small surface scratches on it, but um, easily well worth it. These were also dollar cards. Um, like the Fritz Nova and the Logan Gilbert. Just too cheap. A buddy of mine. He gave me a huge stack about this size, including all those firsts and a few others. Uh, what's up, everybody? Hi. Where, there you go. You can see me. Uh, Derek Jeter, Pinnacle Certified. And then a Jeter Middle Universe, a Jeter EX, I think it's 2000. Yep. A 2002 SBX Albert Pujols. I just got a Brady of these back from PSA. Tom Brady. Mariano Rivera Gold. Glenn Perkins. First Bowman Chrome. Ed Howard. I forgot to give that to my buddy Clyde. Uh, to get signed when he goes on vacation. Derek Jeter. Tops Pristine. Slight surface scratch. Uh, Derek Jeter, Heritage Chrome, I always forget what year that is, 2009, and then a Mike Piazza, um, California League All-Star card, uh, it's the first time I've seen one of these, it does have some slight indentions on it, but uh, you don't see too many of those, so that's all the stuff that I'm not getting I'm not going to uh, uh, consider grading, at least at this point. Um, and those are the, not really the hits. No parallels and base cards anything. Uh, so 
if you've watched any of these videos, you know you're going to see a lot of Hall of Famer relics, and this one is no different. Harmon Kilbrew Century Collection. This one is number 250. Nice one there. And I need more top loaders for these thick cards. Uh, 2003 Timeless Treasures Greg Maddox. I like on the dual pieces where they mix mix the material. Al K Lion Century Stars. And a lot of these are, are kind of on a low number side. This one to 50. The Maddox to 100. The Killebrew was to 50. A Cal Ripken Hall of Fame material. That one's not numbered. How about this one? A Joe Maurer um, batting average on base percentage slugging leader. It's number 227, and it's a 2010 triple threads. How about a Duke Snyder milestone materials out of Topps Tribute. No numbering on that one. I thought there was. A Stitch in Time Mike Piazza from Legendary Cuts. I left this one last time because I already had one, but when I got home, I looked, I found it, and it was really beat up, and he still had it this go around. Uh, so Ryan Sandberg, this is tops. I don't even know what what set this is, but I believe this is a, like a copper or a gold parallel number ninety nine. How about a Frank Robinson green? Out of tribute, nice gold foil signature there. Um, number seventy-five, and that is a two thousand eleven Brooks Robinson two thousand three Flitter Fall Classic. That one is numbered to a hundred. Also, Cooperstown Calling two thousand one, I believe, SP Authentic. Yep. And this is why I believe that Sandberg is a a parallel because this Whitey Ford um, is not numbered. Nice pinstripe in there. Kind of wish you'd see those vertical though on those cards. Uh, two thousand five Donish Classics Eddie M Murray number to fifty. How many Jim Bottomley cards do you see out there? Not too many. Well, there's one from 2003 Gallery. How about a George Brett Legendary Lumberjacks from 03 Donner's Classics, number to 250, with a picture of the bat. Mike will like this one. A Upper Deck Vintage Roy Campanella Timeless Teams. Uh, that is a good looking card. We have a Rod Carew, home jersey, road jersey, and bat. So, Timeless Treasure, Treasures Gamers is what this one's called. Number 200. About a Tony Gwynn Legendary Lumberjacks. That one's number 250. Uh, Bo Jackson from Diamond Kings. Bat and jersey piece. Uh, a Pujols Jersey Kings from Donruss. 2014 and a Felix Hernandez game gear from 2014 Donruss as well and then uh, a Mike Piazza uh, playoff all-stars number two 100 and then this stack just continues on with the, the jersey cards I'll try to get through them quick Kirby Puckett 02 archives that's an early one. How about Roger Maris? Anyone want to see that? A back card of Roger Maris commemorating the 1961 season as RBI champion. I'm sure there is a, and also number 61. I'm sure there is a home run champ for that season out there. Uh, Bill Dickey, another SP Legendary Cuts, guy that you don't see jersey cards on too much. Cal Ripken, Scrapbook Materials, 
you do portraits. Uh, Reggie Jackson from Tribute. About the 77 World Series game where he hit three home runs in a game. And there's that picture there. Don Mattingly. Nice black and white photo for Legendary Cuts. Uh, Buster Posey from Tier 1. Number 399. Paul Goldschmidt. These are these kind of transitioned to one of the other dealers where he just bought a collection, had a lot of this stuff. Scott Rowland from Gypsy Queen, the mini, and Arenado out of last year's Heritage. Um, Kat Osterman, probably the greatest uh, softball player or at least pitcher of all time, number 100. Yes, I've heard of Jenny Finch. I think Kat is a better pitcher. Uh, Jose Abreu, uh, out of Tribute, I believe, also. Yeah, 15 Tribute. That's the green. And that was numbered to 150. Got a Chris Bryant Clubhouse Collection from Heritage. Uh, Xander Bogarts. Uh, Christian Yelich from Tops. 2018 Series 2. Uncle Mike, Michael Brantley, Gold. Uh, parallel number 99. I only bought this one because of how absolutely dirty that uh, jersey piece is. Completely filthy. Love it. Got a Jim Rice uh, fan favorite. It's an 04 Tops. So another pretty early one. Diamond Connection. Uh, Beltron. Jeff Bagwell. Got to have an Astro in there. How about that? Adrian Beltre piece. Probably not too many Red Sox jersey pieces on him out there. Jamison Tyon, USA, uh, triple jersey. Alfonso Soriano, 275. Really should get more talk about the Hall of Fame. And then a changing stripes. We have Pedro, probably one of the biggest reasons that um, Boston won was Pedro going from Montreal to Boston. That one's number to 150. And this is kind of the, the autographs and stuff that I'll be grading, most likely in a couple of slabs. Brady McConnell, first Bowman Chrome Auto. This was three bucks. And this dude was a second round draft pick in 2019. Yeah, he's his numbers aren't great, right now he's got 50 games in the minors give him some time uh pablo lopez pitching great this year inception rookie uh connor biggio i know he he's never played he he never played after being drafted these cards are tough and it's a purple refractor number to 250 and it's like two dollars couldn't pass it same with robinson trinos two bucks uh he was good for the astros and so might as well pick it up julio pablo martinez lotto ticket a couple bucks Paven smith really the only bright spot on the d-backs uh right now blake hunt dollar lotto ticket uh i just like the photography on this one trevor richards I'm not even sure who he is, but it's reminded me of the Noel Ryan uh, upper deck from 90 or 89. I don't remember which. And then Ash Russell, Refractor, the first rounder. Uh, he's out of baseball for a while. I think he's back now, but not very good. But still, it, it's cheap enough to take a flyer on. How about this austin martin uh mega box so this was in the in the pile that i had a bunch of stuff from my buddy and he tried to charge me five bucks for the pile and i'm like dude just I'm, i'll give you here's 20 if you want 30 i'll give you 30 but he wanted five bucks for it but i wasn't gonna do him that way Derek jeter Fleur brilliance i just love that set Here's the other red hot foil jeter. Um, I think this one has a good shot at a 10. 
Um, I got it from the same dealer that I got the Joey Votto that was on my last submission reveal from. Topps Lineage Mickey Mantle, this pop out. Um, that's from 2011. Joe Maurer, finest gold refractor. Number to 50. There's another Austin Martin. A uh, emotion, I think that's, yeah, 95 flare. Um, prepared for Jeter. That's not too bad. Got the SP minor league Jeter after his rookie. It's probably one of my favorite cards I picked up at this show. This one and the next one. This is, well, I'll put the next one out of frame so you can't see it when I flip it over. 2012 Archives, um, Kellogg's 3D. But I just love the look of that card. I picked this one up for a whole $10. The 2007 Heritage Then and Now. Um, these are in-person signatures, but they are spot on. Frank Robinson and Ryan Howard, uh, home run leaders, 58 in 2006. Put them together. Just a great card. I, I think both of those guys are really underappreciated for the type of player that they were in their time. And then this I picked up. I had not seen these before. Um, this is a classic minis, of course, Derek Jeter, Brain Taylor, or Brian Taylor, however you say it, and Russ Davis. Shout out Ken, Russ Davis collector. Sorry, bud, this one's staying with me. You don't see him too often because there's a print run of 8,000. Yes, I know it's 8,000, but back then... They don't come around too often. And finally, uh, the lot, only two slabs I picked up. I got these off of my buddy James. And kind of got a deal. Uh, Mackenzie Gore, first Bowman Chrome, Jim 10. And then the Kyle Tucker, uh, Tops Chrome, short print, Jim 10. So that's it. That was it for... Uh, the card show I'm back in my office now um, I was having computer problems and kind of forced to use my daughter's computer to do my work for a while and so I haven't been in the office much uh, to actually make videos and whatnot I have a stack of pickups I'm ready to show off I just need to shoot that video and some other stuff but I'll get to it that's it I'll catch y'all later let me know what you think um, I know it's a lot of Jersey cards it gets repetitive uh, same videos over and over uh, for the card show recaps but I promise uh, the video for the national recap will be much uh, different